All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. As y'all can tell by that title, y'all already know I can give y'all a spicy never have I ever. So I went up on my Facebook page, I went up on my Instagram page, and I posted on my story, uh, ask me any spicy never have I ever questions, and I'm going to answer them. So that's what we're doing today. I got my wine glass, and I got my pink Moscato. You know me, you know Xavier's get down with the pink Moscato, okay? That's just my that's just my G. That's just that's just my cup of tea, okay? So I got my pink Moscato because whatever I haven't done, I'ma drink. Cause like Xavier, get your life together, have more fun, get out here, cause you should be doing everything, okay? You're young, okay? You got one life that you live. We should be doing everything besides robbing, killing, and stealing, okay? Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? Let's get right into the video. Ladies, first of all, y'all is one. Y'all be telling, y'all be telling people stop telling y'all business, stop doing this stuff. But y'all be asking, asking them messy ass questions, like y'all messy and y'all nasty. But for the most part, y'all nasty because a lot of these questions is nasty. I know I said spicy, but y'all got too spicy. Okay, y'all got too spicy. Yeah, the first question. Hold on, let me pull the wine because I'm gonna have to sip already. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Y'all know I love me a good glass of wine. Cheers for y'all being here. Cheers for another day of us living. Cheers to happiness. Cheers to your happiness. Cheers to us moving on. And cheers for us having fun all 2024. Cheers. Okay, let's get to it. First one is never have I ever let a girl munch on me. Never. <laughs> y'all, I never, like, I never let a girl munch on me. Like, so, let me go and take me another shot. Because I never let a girl munch on me. Now, would I? I would love to experience, you know? I would love to experience it. But, I don't know. It got to be, like, the right place and time. Like, I'm just ain't finna come say, come much on me. Like, no. <laughs> it gotta be, cause I'm not, I'm not that type, I'm not that type of girl's girl, if you know what I mean. I'm not girl on girl. So, but while, like, if I'm out drunk, feeling myself, having a good time, I would do it. But it takes me to have to be drunk to do it. So, it's not really real. You know, I'm not really a girl's on girl's phone. But when I'm out there, pick Moscato, if I'm out there, Casa Amigo, if I'm out anything, you can do anything to me, okay? <laughs> the next question is, never have I ever cheated on my husband. I have not. I never cheated on my husband. So y'all can stop trying to get that tea out of little old me. Y'all can stop trying to get that tea out of little old me. I never cheated on my husband. The 12 years we've been together, anybody... I ain't gonna say that because I was gonna say if I cheated with you, please comment down in the video. But I ain't gonna do that because y'all messy men gonna do it on purpose. So I'm not even gonna go there. Hey, so I said if I did, okay, y'all got a drink because I didn't do it. So no, I never cheated on my husband. Never have I ever fantasized about another man during sexual intercourse. Um. <laughs> Yes, I have. Damn! Yes, I have. During sexual intercourse, I have thought about another man. I ain't going to sit here and lie. I ain't going to sit here and cap. Because if anything, I'm going to be a honey. <laughs> but, yes, I have thought about another man during intercourse. If you want that story time, comment down below. I might give y'all that story time because it was crazy. But, yes, I have. <laughs> never have I ever ate a guy's butt. Never. Never will. N never. N let me go. What? Never. Never. Never will. No. I'm sorry, y'all. I just feel like 
I just feel like men, like, I, like they know how to clean themselves, but I just feel like men don't know how to really, really clean themselves. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, uh, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know some people, who, I know some females who do it, and I haven't really got into all the details, but, like, do y'all make him wash up before, or y'all do it, like, in the middle of the day when he been out playing ball in the gym, doing this and that, and then... He, like, 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 what's going on? Like, y'all just eating it anywhere, any place, any time. <laughs> like, I don't know. But me, Xavier, I have never ate a guy's butt. No. Never have I ever had sexual intercourse with one of my husband's friends. Never. Y'all see what I'm saying by y'all being messy? Y'all see what I'm saying? And it was a lot, and it was a, uh... A decent amount of people who ask this exact same question. Like, y'all see what I'm talking about? Y'all be a mess. Never, ha never had sexual intercourse with one of my husband's friends. Never. I need to be drinking. I need to stop doing things. And I, oh. Well, not that. Oh, <laughs> not that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. Never have I ever ate a girl out. I haven't. And I don't think I will ever. Well, I ain't going to never say never besides the eating a boy's ass. That I'm not going to never, ever do. But I'm not going to say I would never try it. But right now, I wouldn't. Like, I would let a girl do me. But if, it will take a lot. It will, have, it will take a lot for me to do a girl. It will take a lot. <laughs> I'm studying drinking. I should have did the other way around. Like if I did do it, drink. If I didn't do it, don't drink. But whatever. Okay. Never have I ever kissed a girl. I kissed a girl before, and I like. I kissed the girl, and I like it. The taste of her cherry chopstick. I think that's. <laughs> But no, I kissed the girl before, and I actually liked it. Like, and I was tipsy, so maybe that is why. Cause I don't, I don't see myself doing that type of thing sober. But we was tipsy, we was having a good time, and we kissed, and I liked it. And she was pretty, and she was cute, and she had big, pretty lips. So, <laughs> so yeah, I liked it. Um. Never have I ever wanted to move back to Chicago. Um, I have. I have thought about moving back, but on a, not on a, I miss home, I want to go home type of thing. It wasn't like that. It was about it like when either like one of my sisters, and y'all gonna see me talk about my sisters a lot. Like me and my sisters, we've been through our stuff like any other family. But me and my sisters are real close. Like, they love me and I love them. They need something, I'm running. I, I need something, they running. Besides anything we got going on, me and my sisters, we rock it out. So, like, any thoughts I had about moving back to Chicago, it was it was either, like, my sister need help. Or my sisters need help. I want to. I, I need to be there to help my sister. I want to be there to help my sister. Like, it, it was something like that. It was never like, oh, I miss Chicago. I'm in Chicago, so I want to move back. Or I'm home sick, so I want to move back. So it was never like that. It was more sort of, I feel like my sister need me. I need to be there. I need to go back home at least for a couple months or a week or a day to help her. Like, more in that nature, if y'all feel me. Never have I ever had a threesome. I never had a threesome. Now, I wouldn't say that I would never do it. I just feel like it will have to be with the right people. You get what I'm saying? And I would never do it with my spouse. Like, that may not make sense to a lot of people, but it makes sense to me. Like, I would never do it with my husband and my man. But I would feel like if other women is into that and they wanted me to join, and I'm single, I would. Like, I would go have fun. I would do it. But, like, as far as bringing another female into my home and my bed, I don't think I would do it. But, there is a but. But, I feel like, um, I, I'm not going to lie. Like, let's stop the cap. If, if, if my man or my husband, if 
if he he's a good husband and he's a good protector, he's a provider, he's loving on me and he he doing he you feel me? He he just a man and he take care of home, he take care of his wife, his kids. I'll do anything for my man. And I'm just completely be a hundred right there. Like I I, I said I, I won't bring another woman inside my home, but if, if I just feel like my man doing a doing a damn thing. My man, he's showing out. He take care of his kids, his family. He's looking out for us. We good. I'll do anything for my man. I'll do anything for that man. So, I'm going to just say that. No, I have never. So, let me take my sip. But I'm not saying that I wouldn't. You feel me? Ever have I ever had a one-night stand? I had a one-night stand before y'all. And I was so young. I was so young and so... Like, not knowing what I was doing, y'all. My one night stand was, after the club, I went to some, I went to a, a older club with, with people 20 years older than me, end up leaving the club with a man older than me, and end up having a one night stand in the park in his car. Don't get me wrong. It was lit. I was fulfilled. It was good. But, y'all, it was just like, after that, he took me home. He made sure I got home. And I didn't know his name. He didn't know my name. And I never saw that man again. He, we protected ourselves. I remember everything. He was just so he was just so sweet to me. He was a handsome man. He was just so sweet to me, y'all. And, and this was before Darnell. This was before Darnell. I was young then. Like, me and Darnell was friends. I, I actually met the people that I went to the club with through him. We was friends at this time. So... I went to this older club, this older guy, he, he bought me plenty of drinks, he took care of me, he took me to a park, and it, it, it wasn't that thing, like, he took advantage of me, he didn't, because I wanted it, like, we literally had fun, but then it was like, he took, I didn't know his name, he didn't know my name, yes, I protected myself, and he took me home, and never saw that man, <laughs> never saw that man again in a day of my life, like, <laughs> And that was a quick story tale, y'all. Like, that was a quick story tale. Like, it's crazy, but that happened. That was a part of my life. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Um, never have I ever made a sex tape. I made sex tapes, baby. <laughs> Me and my husband used to get down. <laughs> no, y'all yeah, gotta. I got some. I got some sex tapes out there. <laughs> no, no, I don't got no sex tapes out there. But I'm pretty sure my husband have sex tapes of us somewhere in that phone. But we made a few, some, a couple, you know. <laughs> oh, whatever. Never have I ever did it in public. So, y'all, now I'm letting y'all know all my tea. I'm trying to be open here, okay? But me and my husband had, besides the one I stand, me and my husband did it in the back of a school, y'all. On the west side of Chicago, we did it in the back. <laughs> and it was so fun, like, it was just so fun, like, just looking and make sure. Yeah, I be so paranoid when I do anything. Like, I'm so clowned out and childish. Like, whenever I do anything, I be like, wait, hold on. We got to see if people looking. So, and then that make your adrenaline rush even more. But, like, it was so fun. And I'm glad I could look back on stuff like that. <laughs> but I did. I did. Me and my husband, we had public sex in the back of a school. Judge your mama. <laughs> never have I ever stole from a store now y'all trying to first of all y'all being messy then y'all being nasty now y'all trying to incriminate me I'm not answering that I'm gonna drink to that okay I'm not incriminating myself on here in front of 300k subscribers shout out to y'all no I did no such things. Okay? <laughs> never have I ever had a golden shower. I haven't. I never had a golden shower. I would say I would never do it. For the right price, I would. You know? And 
Oh, hell no. And, and that's something I'm going to have to put a price on. Like, you want to sit there and give me a golden shower. Put a nice price on it, baby. Let's do it. Forget it. Forget it. Let's do it. Put a price on it and you got one. <laughs> put a nice price on it and sprinkle away. Say what? Never have I ever gave head in the car. I have. Like, come on, guys. I have a husband. Like, we did some things, but hey, I ain't get that. It, put it on him, make him want to marry me. Put it on him, make him want to. I ain't make him want to marry me for nothing. No, but yeah, I, did, I gave head in the car before. That was fun or whatnot. Um, never have I ever faked a orgasm. I have. I did. I, I'm sorry. All the time, everybody not gonna please you. You're not gonna be pleased every time. You know, I I I, I faked a couple of them. You know, some some everybody just went right. You know, stuff happens. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is the last question. I had a short amount of questions because everybody had the same questions. Everybody was talking about, have I ever let a girl munch me? Have I ever munched a girl? Have I ever cheated on my husband? Everybody literally had the same questions. So that's why they should. But the last one is, never have I ever thought about a poly relationship. <sighs> I don't think I could ever do it. Now, that's something I can say that I don't think I can ever do it. Like, I'm spoiled. I want my men to myself. I, I like, I don't got time for the, you having, you having time for this and that and both of us. No, when you could just give me 100% all of your time. Like, if it ain't got to do with the kids and work, wish these kids be able to get a pass. Because give me my men, okay? No, but like. I want my man all to myself. I I am a I am a man's woman. Like I want my man. I want to be all over my man. I just want my man. I don't have time to be sharing my man with nobody. So no, I can honestly say I think I would ever do a poly because I'm just like so stingy and jealous and selfish and like that's my man like come on <laughs> like that's my man like no but i definitely don't judge and i don't knock nobody who do it because i know people really gain a lot of benefits from that and, and it's a lot of poly couples out here that's also doing well but for my own personal preference like Give me my man. This is my man. I want my man all to myself. A hundred thousand percent. Like, this is my man. Okay? <laughs> but, y'all, that was my last question. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, are y'all being consistent out there? Are y'all putting y'all works out there? Are you putting your music videos out there? Are you putting your YouTube videos? Are you creating content? What are we doing? Update me in the comments. I told y'all, 2024 is the year of consistency. That's it. That's all. Anything you're doing is not going to work if you're not being consistent. You're not going to see a good paycheck if you're not putting, going to work every day, right? You're not going to see a good paycheck if you're late to work every day. You're not going to see You're not gonna see nothing if you're not putting your work out there. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn that post notification bell so you know when Xavier is on your screen. Bye!